This is a triangle. This is another triangle. This is a third triangle. This one has a right angle in it, never it is. Epic triangle, but scaled so it has longest side length equal to one. Let's call its area A. Here is yet another epic copy. Since scaling length scales areas by the square of the scaling factor, this copy has area X squared A. Similarly, these epic copies must have areas Y squared A and Z squared A, respectively. All of which means... Cinema. ...that X squared A plus Y squared A is equal to Z squared A. Dividing through by A. We arrive at the very fact that made these triangles epic to begin with. We arrive at... The Pythagorean Theorem. But our story is not quite over. For why does the Pythagorean Theorem make our triangles epic? Well, if our triangle ceases to be epic, since this implies that x squared a plus y squared a is no longer equal to z squared a, calling forth the power of the contrapositive leads us to conclude that obeying the Pythagorean Theorem implies of our triumph.